Howdy everyone and welcome to the 22nd session of Deep Blues, an apocalypse an apocalypse world adventure. Uh, please edit that out. I will, don't, don't worry. Don't actually edit that out. No. That's a that's a goof. We're not gonna do an edit goof. You're not I'm gonna say edit it out, you're not we're gonna do it. We're doing it live! Like what I usually doing... do. Fuck it! We're <laughs> doing it live! Yeah, pretty much. We are uh, a good session. Hey everyone. Uh, we're professionals. <laughs> we do we? this for money. Um, <laughs> Where, where's my money at? When it's do I get mine. paid? I, I get paid all the time. What the, what, uh, hey, I'm editing. Give me the money. You're a, <laughs> you're a dumbass and you don't realize that I have been marketing this all the time and there's merch where's, sales. Where's and, my t-shirt? Uh, I have all the t-shirts. I wear all of them at the same time. Uh, I cannot <laughs> it is move. very hot. It is very warm. <laughs> well, Please help ready. me. I can't take them off. My arms are immobilized. <laughs> all right. So. Yeah. Uh, Last session. Seth, session. can you tell me what happened? <laughs> no, I completely forgot. Oh. I, I was gonna wait for you guys and just fill in the blanks. Uh, well, uh, we last session I didn't have such a nice microphone. Now I have yeah. a good microphone. I think and we that were kicked say... out of millions. Not yet. Not yet. Oh yeah, we have a week. Uh, yeah, when when you leave, you can't come back. We got our eviction notice. Uh, <laughs> Pretty I, much. I pretended to stab Lug as Rusty. Rusty pretended to stab Lug and. They got to know each other a little better because of that. Were Lug healthier, he would have fought back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I think that's it for the most part. Like, Lug got a head plate. Rusty's got his prosthetic. I'm just... I was just standing there. Yeah, just Seppi was eye candy for the entire session, <laughs> and that's about it. Bro, I'm just, I just, I'm just standing like here. <laughs> yeah, me, me and Quill just like stood there. Yeah. And Quill wasn't supposed Quill, to. Quill did a lot more than just Seppi did. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did like no, I did, I heard about, I heard about um Sweet Jeremy. I didn't like go up to him. Bug oh, yeah, broke his wrist. Lug, Lug did talk to Sweet Jeremy and decided halfway through an interrogation not to ask any questions. <laughs> Listen, he, listen, listen, the man's pathetic. Listen, yeah, I figure, but that you usually get answers out of the pathetic ones. Listen. It was too sad and depressing. I heard about him. He, listen, he has might like as well be. Is, he has like a friend who is like apparently named Visage and is scary. Yeah, Visage is well, apparently a scary person. I mean, okay, so here's the thing. They're path they're pathetic. They're not going to have any friends. They're not going to know any of their colleagues. This is the kind of man who gets caught looking at porn at work. Do you really think he's gonna have any friends? <laughs> he's the guy. We'll decide in the on how canon that is in the future. He's the guy in the university who forgot to put his headphones in while watching porn during class. Ouch! What kind of dumb motherfucker does that in class anyway? Well, like, there's people behind you, stupid. Yeah. Hey, I saw a video of somebody like doing e that. even if you're in the back of the room, somebody walks in and it's like, oh, here's this dipshit watching someone get railed. <laughs> Like, yeah. why are you even here, asshole? Don't even come to class if you're gonna fucking do that shit. Yeah, like, I, like every time I walk into the back of my class, I can at least see the person doing their programming homework. Right. And they're in the very back. Like, their back is to the wall, and I can still see their screen. Yeah, of course, this is coming from an idiot who did nothing but read Game of Thrones uh, during their biology class and what failed. What fuck? Why would you do that? Because I was a stupid anyways. idiot. I was a dumb motherfucker. But Game of uh, Thrones? Oh, sucks anyways. Well, I was into it at the time. I'm so That's sorry. That's the problem. I'm so also, sorry. Also, Game of Thrones wasn't nearly as shitty in the books, I think. At the I'm same so time, so it was sorry. shitty and very long, and I was I got very tired of it. <laughs> so that's why I stopped at, like, the fifth book. It wasn't shitty. It was just shitty. I mean, it, it, you know, it was better for my dumbass fucking 21-year-old fucking brain. And then I failed every class in a year and racked up nice debt because it turns out if you fail your classes uh, while you're having the GI Bill pay for your classes, uh, you have to pay that shit back. Yeah. So someday I'll pay that back, but right now I got to pay for a car. Yippee. I mean, that's why we're doing Deep Blues, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the monetization you're going to get from Deep Blues because YouTube won't give it to me. <laughs> yes. Where's your Patreon didn't, at so I can support didn't you it? Know they didn't you know they've been doing this to Twitch the whole time while we've been doing it to YouTube? Have you? Where are your bits? 
<laughs> anyway. Okay, yeah, um, anyway. Sounds like we're about good to start the session. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, HX highlights. Yeah. Uh, Do you want to change your highlight rolls or highlighted stats? It's always fun. I always just like having fun with it, and you know, it lets See, people have, know where our HX Auden is. Shop right now. Okay, let's start with uh, our goodest baldest boy. Well, I know him That's for three. That's love. Yeah, no, I don't. No, okay. I, I get it. All right. He's the only one with the. Sh oh yeah, Wait. Lug is bald now. No, he's not. He's not. <laughs> That's right. Wait, Rusty's got less hair than him. <laughs> no, I, I think at this point you've been usurped. No, no. No. Rusty, Rusty <laughs> is fucking bald, bald. Rusty oh, has God. three strains of hair. <laughs> Okay. Specifically, when I draw him, I make sure to draw no more than three. <laughs> okay, I've been assert. I've been uh, overruled. This you've been canon. you've been defeated by facts and logic. Okay. Oh damn! Don't say oh, that. Gee. I'm gonna put an image of that fucking rat. Don't say that. Lug as Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Don't say anyway. that. Anyway. No, I'm gonna draw that him okay, as a rat. Okay, listen. Some things are too far, Josie. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Lug doesn't talk fast enough for Ben Shapiro, <laughs> or say nearly as many stupid things. All right, so uh, yeah. who knows Lug best? Three. Jacob, that's your cue. Push oh, a talk. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, I have Westy three too. Lug. Fight. No Lug. What? Jacob, we're talking about Lug. Oh, oh, Lug. I have one. Okay, sorry, well, I'm, I'm, hey. I'm trying to lose it already. Two. Uh, sharp. Mark sharp for me. Okay. Give me weird. All right. I always like weird. It's a good stat. You fucking idiots should uh, roll <laughs> no, it. No, no, absolutely not. I refuse. A fucking hocus. He doesn't want to roll weird. How weird. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. How ironic. <laughs> How ironic. <laughs> okay. Who who knows Jacob best? Two. Three. Roll hot. Mm, okay. Get cool. Okay. All right. Final one. One plus B for Vesti. What, what What do you want me to mark? Oh wait. I guess I'll go with weird. So I keep forgetting to hold my D down. Weird for Vesti. Mm. For Vesti. That means take you got to take sharp. Okay. Yeah didn't highlight it perfect okay it's got to be perfect in the bubble or i'm gonna freak all right well we got everything i think yep sounds about right um can we do starting rolls roll me a bone feel yeah ro roll them bone feel but the bone feel it'll be it'll be dog dim a dome dog dim a dome roll gonna roll okay yes hang on <laughs> I'm sitting here at the edge of my seat, despite being like leaning back in it. Fine. Pretty That's good. Pretty good. good. That's pretty good. Okay, I guess it's my turn, huh? Well, I figure that when we're truly out at sea, we're gonna roll fortunes. Okay, so don't do that just yet. Yeah, not just yet. I'll not tell yet. You when. Okay. Should I discuss the move I just got? If you'd like to. Okay. I decide to use my movements. I still have one reserve. I will think about it still. One of them is for a new move from another player book. I took Artful and Gracious. When you perform your chosen out, any act of expression or culture, or when you put its product before an audience, roll plus hot. On a 10 plus, spend 3. On a 7 to 9, spend 1. Spend 1 to name an NPC member of your audience and choose 1. This person must meet me. This person must have my services. This person loves me. This person must give me a gift. Or this person admires my pay admires my patron on a miss you gain no benefit but suffer no harm or lost opportunity you simply perform very well this is a skinner move that i've put into my playbook yeah i think that's pretty good it's pretty fitting yeah yeah i figured this could like work with like you know you're playing in the band or it could work with any bar you know tricks you do or something like that uh as it said you know your chosen art you watch this guy chug a whole bottle of scotch! <laughs> Yo, I need his services right now. I need him to do more. <laughs> uh, did anyone else get any moves or anything? Any no. improvements? 
I got one more before I can get one, so it's waiting on that. Lug? Nope, don't have any. Okay, okay. Um, so uh, I think the first thing we want to do real quick is any like last minute things on millions. Yeah. Uh, like, um, any things you want to get for either projects or people or yourself for the boat or you know anything in particular? I do. Uh, art of the okay. trade time. Uh, yeah, we never did art of the trade. If you wanted to do that, Giuseppe, uh, you could. Was that? The... Me... Yeah, I thought that was only out of sea. Oh. Wasn't well, it? Art of the trade Wait, is no. when you. No, I, I said the wrong like thing. From... That was my my bad. Or art of the deal. Art of the deal is when you like show up to a place. We never had Giuseppe do art of the deal because like it was kind of busy. Yeah, yeah. We came here and immediately. Mm. So, well, not immediately, uh, but edit, so. edit that yawn out. No. It... Bass boost it. I will. Okay, I'm looking up out of the deal. So if you want me to do it. Um... Yep. Okay. You were out, I think, for two weeks. Okay, so will plus hot. Oh Very damn! Good. You that yep that means you get four barter, and you can divide it as much as you want between yourself and Lug. Not me. Uh, how much do you have, Lug? About in total, I have a lot. So if you want, I have some, nine. You have some. I have five, eleven. 15. Wait, how does that work? Five. Well, I, are you like I'm counting, writing like, down? Any time like, I get a bu bunch of boto in a bunch, I just like count as an object and like put it into my oh, inventory. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, I so figured that. Five, eleven, thirteen. Damn. Nineteen. I don't know why I have so much. What the fuck? Uh, you, you can actually it. lug. You 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 can have it all. Thank and, you. No, I'll take one piece and you have Thank the you. rest. Then right. I get like an even twenty. Base. Fuck my life. Damn. What am I doing? You I, I give, I why up, are you giving him so much money? Josie, that remember, is... I made a, I made a listing last last session that says Josie, you have too much money. Why okay. are you joking? Well, damn, I twenty wish you'd months. Use the damn money. Twenty then months of income. Well, Just... twenty months of like okay living. That's uh, twenty months of income. Damn. Damn. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. So. Y'all have projects or things you want to buy and get? I want to buy. I want to buy. I want to buy. Okay. I want to buy. We'll start with you. All right. I want we'll to start go... with the. Uh, we'll start with the rest of you. Oh yeah, I want to go buy a book. I want to go buy a book. Any particular book? Yeah, sewing and or knitting. Oh okay, so like yeah. a manual. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I figure I'm you. Sorry, can but that. that's fucking adorable. <laughs> I'd say that since books are probably very hard to come by. I'm gonna roll uh, a bar to move. Roll the barter move that has you like spending money to get it. Uh, I forgot what it was called. Let's see. Me too. Um, barter moves. It is, uh, when you make known that you want a thing and drop jingle to spend it on its way or speed it on its way. Is that what you're talking about? Or yeah, do you feel like you might send like you know be like you'd pay you press a bunch of money into like Nickel's hand and be like, find me the book. The book, or would you go specifically yourself? Because if that's the case, then I want to go specifically myself. Okay. Because uh, by the by, I wanted to be. Would you surprise. find the barter moves in the book? I suddenly forgot what it is. It are. is page twenty-eight. Okay. It's with the uh, harm and healing moves. There it is. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Someday this campaign has to end so that I can like seamlessly just use the harm and healing moves. Not these ones that are here, but the ones where. Uh... Oh no, these ones here actually. Yeah. The here. suffering harm moves. I haven't used them yet because, like, it feels a bit weird to just suddenly kind of, like, have them. But if y'all, like, you know, want them, we can just start using them. If I'm, I'm going if I'm going to for real go and stab Lug, we will need to use the <laughs> harm and healing moves. Okay, yeah. Arc 3 is where shit gets real. <laughs> I, go to, I go to Lug's workshop and stab him. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do I need to... Spend... It was a clone I made just for the occasion. Uh... Yeah, always do remember that since y'all are fucking rich, giving a barter to someone but with strings attached counts as uh, rolling manipulate and giving a 10 plus with no leverage or roll required. Okay, so um, for that, could I use my charismatic instead whenever you try to roll to manipulate someone real weird instead? Uh, I mean, like, the giving a barter to someone means that you just yeah. automatically win. You oh. get a 10+, plus, no matter what. 
Oh. You don't have to roll. Oh, yeah. I needed to read the You're rest bribing of them that. is the idea. I can't read, as it turns um, out. Yeah, you're talking about going into a bustling market, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I also yeah. want a few um, other things, but right now we'll just focus on the book. Roll plus sharp. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Head. Go for it. Books are certainly the sort of thing that's like pretty hard to come by. Okay. Nine. nine. Pretty Nine's good. Pretty, pretty good. good. So seven or nine, I choose one. You it choose costs one. more. It's openly for sale, but somebody, or you don't find it for sale, but you find someone selling it who can lead you. It's not for sale, but you find someone who sold it recently. I think it'll just cost one more barter. Cost um, one we'll more say it costs three barter. Uh, you find somebody selling um, a... Perfect. Uh, most importantly is that it's made of laminated pages. Oh, good, good, good. You know, like, it's very, it's not, it's not, it's a, you know those books that have, like, uh, they're not very bendy. It's almost <laughs> like they're all, all, it's almost like they're all made of plastic and yes. it's for children who yes. don't, like. Oh, you mean, of, like, cardboard? No, it's, like, not it that is laminated. It's like between laminate and like plastic or something like that. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's like baby books, so, so they don't like rip the pages. It was thirteen oh, plus those. the one, or thirteen total, or three. Pardon. So the book was three barter, is, and then I add barter. one, or did you already add the one? It is three barter. You were spending okay. three barter if you want it. Okay, I do want it. Okay. Do, can I find some supplies for that too? Uh, for sewing, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Um, are you looking for like just basic thread and stuff, or are you looking for fabrics and things like that? Um, I already have a fabric enough fabric on my fucking body that I can use. That uh, won't last long. No, I'll just tell you. No, well, I'm <laughs> like gonna the... buy new shirts too. Right. I need new shirts. Uh, so I'll just use that. Uh, so basic string and such, because I don't want to make it a whole project if I can't figure out how to do it. Okay. Um, so you're looking to buy like shirts and clothing, and or like I suppose that could count as fabric if you're going to cannibalize them. Yeah, I'm just going to take the t-shirts and flags off my body. Maybe not all the okay. flags. That's mostly just what such. I wanted to know. Like, yeah. did you just want string and needles, or did you want material as oh, well? Oh yeah, materials as well, like shirts. So then I can okay, yeah, replace you can my old find shirts. That. That's that's not something that's hard. Like okay. you either find it in like, you know, its base form, or you find it in stuff that exists. Uh, okay. yeah, we'll say that you get like a bundle of like disused clothing, um, that somebody's just kind of trying to hawk off. Okay. You know, there's no telling whether they wore them beforehand or not. Uh, Doesn't but matter. It is. It's a bunch of stuff. Uh, but you gain it for, considering they don't really want it. We'll just say one barter for the whole thing. Okay. Um. You know, like needles aren't a rare thing. People still have to make clothing, and a barter is supposed to go pretty far. Okay, I've got that written down. Um, or something else I wanted. Uh, do you want to think of that while we switch to someone else? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, let's go up to uh, our good boy Giuseppe. Did you have any ideas of like things you wanted to buy, supplies, uh, quality of life, materials, see, equipment is, is for the, the boat? boat? First, is the boat like running low on anything in potential, like anything that it could need for like another long journey? Uh, you have fuel to uh, plenty, considering like you, you know, got your originally quote-unquote forgotten you know bunch of fuel from the deal um for a finder's fee so you're not you're good on fuel for probably a good while food's good medical supplies i think that what it's going low on what do you think that they wouldn't have already provided you i suppose okay so we have food fuel medical supplies Probably. We have like a lot of metal already for Wesley's work, for Lug's work, right? Well, he's running on the last of it. Like, okay. you've pretty much used up like everything they give you, new, and you're not staying long enough for another shipment to hit you. Mm. So, like, whenever the metal traders come back with like your haul, like you're probably not going to be there. Mm. Um, what were you going to say, Wind? Well. I have some stuff that the boat probably needs written down. I'm not sure if it would fit better for you or Lug. You can suggest uh, it. Because the engine is mainly for locomotion. We don't have anything of like... We, we have some, but we don't have nearly enough of like generators and like wires to connect those generators to kind of like power the utilities of the ship, such as 
lighting, the water filter. Uh, right. I'm probably going to bring things. up lighting to to you, uh, Lug, in a bit, because like I don't think that was something that was already provided. You know? Do we need like uh, power sources of some sort? Yeah, like generators, wiring. Plural. Generators, plural. Oh, so yeah, what's... you're going to need um... at least a... You know, at least a couple. Okay. Maybe some for, you know, backup and emergency. Okay. We probably have, like, a good two already from the first you one. Had one. You had one before okay, that so was powering one. the floodlights. Okay, I guess my first look can be, like, for, like, some sort of power source or, like, anything that can, like, supply power, like... Right, a generator. Know. So, I okay. roll for that. Uh, if you don't think that you would just find it. Do you think, I guess, I don't know, they'd have, like, a lot of electricity stuff on millions. Guess they might? Hmm. Uh, considering they're cannibalizing the the mountain as we speak, I figure it's probably not too hard to find generators. Okay. In that case, how much would, one, how much would like, a good one that would fit our needs for a now good, cost? Oh, a good one. Okay, that's oh. a different. Yeah, that's if different. you want to find a good one, you're going to have to roll for it. Do you want uh, a good you one either... lug? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I will roll. You could also time. you can do general things like if you, you know, want to spend more money for it, you can make it known that you want it and it's, you know, if you roll good, then you you will get it. Uh, would this be uh, a thing I use fingers in every pie? I could use it fingers in every pie for. Uh, let me check that move real quick. Put the word out you want a thing and roll hot. Yes. Uh, hmm. Yes, but it'll cost you. It'll still cost you something. Like it won't just come and like. Yeah. Actually, you know what? You know, no. Go ahead and roll it. Okay. Okay. Oh, man, that's not super good, hot. Well, but it's like it's your still people just make an effort. And, yeah, your people make an effort, and everybody wants to please you. Close is close. That's the that's the my favorite one because it's just like you have to wonder what's gonna happen. Hmm. What does that mean? I'll say. Hmm. 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 I'll say Darnell comes in, uh, wheeling that, wheeling it in, uh, looking a little harried. It looks good. It looks good, and when you, you know, like start it, it runs nicely. And Darnell, like you know, seems pretty proud of that. I think the only thing he particularly says about like what you know the you know the trip to get it was like, you know, ah oh, man, I really had to you know beat an old lady with a stick for this thing. <laughs> no. Excuse me, Darnell. Wood. I mean, you know, it's just an expression. Darnell would real not an expression if you if you if you don't believe him you can read a person <laughs> will, will an old lady come after me if i don't if i don't apply to this let's just say that that grandma isn't going to be an issue anymore she wasn't no. to begin with but <laughs> i don't want grandma to be dead no. Grandma's the only npc i trust okay grandma's the only npc that likes you <laughs> sorry just to be Right, yeah, so you you have it. Yeah, there is something that might be going on. Huh. Uh, if you want to like press Darnell about it, you can if you'd like. Um, I don't know if I should do that now or like get other like st stuff done first. You do it now and do other stuff. Yeah. Afterwards. I mean, there's not a particular okay. like, you know, time limit. So Darnell only got one generator. What a baby! Couldn't carry two. Couldn't beat two old ladies. Yeah, I'm gonna read a person. I can't believe it. Yeah, because I'm curious okay, as that hell. Works. Yep, That's you get okay. one question. Maybe what he'd wish I'd do? I don't know. That may not be good for Darnell. He may just wish I, like, just ignore it. I mean, the most obvious choice is, like, is your character telling the truth? Okay. Yeah. Is he, is he telling the truth? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to go. I'm gonna, maybe I should well, go. Well, he's around. he's telling the truth that he had to beat someone with a stick for it. He isn't telling the truth that he's. It's just an expression. Uh, hmm. But was it specifically an old lady? We'll never know. Hmm. Well, maybe I need to like go out. I think it may be a good idea to like quickly run out and see if like who he took that generator from to, to reimburse them. Maybe I should like go out in the mocha and if I see some if I see something, then I will respond to it. Will you? Uh, I mean, Giuseppe's like a good person. He's not just gonna like let. Donnell... I'm not asking for like any particular reason. I'm saying, are you? Because you're like, maybe I should. Are you gonna? Okay, I, I will. I'll go go into the market to like get some other stuff and then like 
see what is see what Donnell took this place this from. Okay. Uh, while you're also heading out to, to the stop in the market for like a few other things. While you're heading out to the market, let's hit up Lug. All right. What sort of stuff are you looking to get? I have a whole list of things. So generators right. and wires that was on it. So I don't right. think you you hocked that off. Yeah. Do you think the two we have is going to be enough? Um, I figure the fact that one is actually a good generator definitely, like, makes up for it. Okay. Lug L- has confidence in Giuseppe, not Darnell, but Giuseppe, that he's going to get a good one. So, that's hopped off. That's a uh, lot of trust. That is a lot of trust. He has 20 barter. He can manage. <laughs> you <laughs> he's know rich. What? He'll find it. Yeah. Or he'll just get it, like, all scammed out of him. Right. <laughs> so, I'm able to ask for multiple things, right? Would I would I roll would I roll uh like to search the market for each one? Well, actually, I well, guess. Well, remember, we'll... this is for stuff that you not. It's not obvious whether you should be able to just get it. Okay. Yeah. So it's like if it's so... rare or specialty shit. Okay. So I think one thing. Weapons. Weapons aren't going to be like rare specialty shit. I think. Absolutely not. With that, Lug is going to kind of uh, get his group together, uh, the engineers, and I think he's going to... How much barter do you think it would take for all of them to get, like, at least one weapon of their choosing? Well, let me try to remember. How many are 15. in your gang again? Fifteen? Three barter? Three barter sounds about right. Okay. I for, think like, he'd... A bunch of... Yeah. I think he'd, he'd give them... He he'd hand them out a three barter, and he'd be kind of like a. I don't want that shit on the shit that was happening on the ship to happen again. Get arm yourselves, and he kind of waves them off to do that, and before he goes to look for something on his own. Right. Which... I think Strip looks a bit fucking like sour about that, like like he was about to give lip, but then he decides, ah, oh, fuck it. You know, like this yeah, dude just gave money. his money to get some shit, find whatever. <laughs> uh, and yeah, they they go off. I think um, let's say they they don't gain more harm, but they gain a new option. That is that they are both close and far. Okay. And their hand because they also have like you know machetes and shit. Alrighty. Uh, and the the specialty item that I'm okay. absolutely gonna have to roll for is gonna be a nice gun that could be mounted upon the greasy pinky. Uh, did you have anything in mind? Uh, something where it's like, it. Uh, I'm thinking what the the trade off would kind of be would be the greasy pinky could only house like two people at a time, but mm. but when one person would have to be like kind of in the the seat for the gunner, but it can. I, I'm thinking full 360 rotation. Uh, at least a little bit of adjustability to go up or down. And they don't have to be outside of the vehicle to, uh... So, what you're saying is you want the turret from the pansy. Not necessarily. Because that's where you're going to find that, is the turret from the pansy. Lorem is in her workshop if you'd like to talk to her. That's the only way I'm going to find it? Mm Mm-hmm. No one has that kind of hardware here. What if it if it was just uh you you know, ninety degree turn? <laughs> Go talk to Lauren, bud. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like you're like it's like you're not just looking for a weapon. You're looking for like half of a tank, and the only place you're gonna find half of a tank is the person who owns a full tank. Okay, let me let me weigh my options here for a moment. Well, I can also give you an option to roll sharp. How about I talk you... to Laura, I mean, you've talked to the old lady I'm about to talk to. I don't, uh, I don't no, think, I don't think either of you know your business at the moment, so. Yeah. I can give you some words that may sway things, if you'd like. The first being that, like, they aren't fighting a land war anymore. And the pansy is decidedly a land vehicle. Hmm. Okay, you, you didn't have me actually, like, roll sharp for that, but okay. Yeah, I decided, like, eh, right, rolling sharp for that is, like, nah, that's pretty obvious. Kind of mean. Okay. 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 
uh, okay, I suppose that means that you you want to yeah. go there. So yeah, it's not yeah. Uh, as as you approach the the workshop, um, you hear some pretty intense metal cutting sounds, and you see a lot of like even through like the the shack doors, uh, you see a lot of sparks flying. Uh, it's inviting. very inviting. Inviting. <laughs> I think he kind of. I think it's he does a more firm knock, at least to get more of a louder sound. I don't want to barge in. Mm. Okay, I think the cutting ends, and uh, yeah, she comes out the door. Uh, she's in like full like, you know, metal working outfit. You know, big mask, etc. Inviting. Uh, I think he's uh, he goes uh, hi. I want to ask you something. I want I want to I want to talk to you about business. Come in. Uh, he, and he comes in. Uh, you see the pansy in there, uh, and it looks like she is like three fourths through the way, or uh, you know, through like cutting. It looks a lot like she's cutting the turd out. What are you doing there? Repurposing. For. It can't be on this anymore. It's useless like this. That's what I was actually gonna t talk to you about. Uh. I like the cannon. I'm okay. willing to pay. Do you... Do you have a price? First, give me back my bombs. <laughs> I did. Remember? Did you? Yeah, in the, in the, in the medical room, he was like, Oh yeah, oh, right. I don't know how these got here. I'm a big idiot. Okay, I totally forgot about that. Oh, that's fine. Oh, uh, I, I, I can give back two of them, but, uh... Hmm. I think she like kind of just stares at like at nowhere for a bit. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred what? That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. You're disgusting. <laughs> Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. <laughs> tries to forcibly <laughs> enter your boat. But I think she says, "Um, we're going to need a bit more funds, likely for." Well, I'm going to need more funds for any particular projects I'd like to do, because they've cut my funding. So... I don't know why they do that. A travesty, really. I will give you the good friend and colleague discount, 8-parter. Mm. I don't think this... Lug's like a negotiator. Do you? Oh, I'll have it delivered. Thank you. Leave. And he just kind of backs up. He doesn't even turn around, he just kind of backs up. Yeah, and she just goes back to it with the sort of, you know, grim determination of somebody who's cutting apart their life's work. Aww. Aww. Uh, let's head back to uh, Rusty. Rusty. Did you think of what else you wanted? Yeah, first, I want to see if my the regulars needed anything. What do you think they would need? Um, what do I think they would need? Drug! No, absolutely. Actually, no, I forbid. Actually, they probably should get a nice big supply of their their drugs. I think any of them are addicted to drugs. Thank you. No, the the the, the the drugs the book mentioned. What? Oh, they oh, get yeah. those regardless. That yeah. was like, oh. like they're not gonna force them to go without like fucking yeah, hormones. That's fucked up. <laughs> fucked up. Um. Like they're they're still considered like you know citizens of millions. All right, so. Uh, I think maybe some armor if they felt like that fight went bad. Better weapons if, again, they thought that fight went bad with Sweet Jeremy's guys. Right, your folks generally don't have... Very good armor or weapons. Yeah, not really. They're pretty, like, you know, lukewarm. Uh, If I remember correctly, they get armor from you, right? Uh, yeah. They get armor because you have, like, the divine protection yeah i didn't if know that carried over them. to the cult oh it carries okay. over to the cult if you're fighting in like in a gang with them okay so then i'd have to get something at least minimum two armor yep okay or yeah. like minimum two so that they don't have to be fighting as a gang with you in them to have armor yeah I yeah say... if you wanted armor you could certainly uh look for some i like to get that okay uh, two armor armor for 20 people. 
We'll say six barter for all that. So that's going to be six barter for everybody to get that. I'll go ahead and buy that. What about weapons? Um, let me think. Well, uh, I suppose what are you looking to get them? What are they best with? That's, I think, up to you. Oh, that's up to me. Um. Otherwise, they're, you know, they can use guns. Yeah. They have fought in melee. Like, they don't have any, like, they only have a preference if you make the preference. Okay, then I guess I'll get a mix. So then they have the option. Okay. You have a bit more people, so we'll say uh, four, I think. Yeah, four, four barter four to barter. have, like, a nice mix. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, Anything that looks nice for one barter... <laughs> <laughs> Anything that looks nice. Okay. For one barter. <laughs> you mean like fashion? Uh, trinkets. I don't necessarily mm, have another to... talking fish. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, that that beer hat is still around. <gasps> is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, give me that. Yeah. They yeah, you can go over there. Get that. <laughs> the the person who sold it to you is definitely like. Definitely had the look of thank fucking god I finally sold that piece of shit. Okay. So. And I got so much money for it, too. One whole barter. <laughs> got a whole goddamn jingle for a shitty hat. Okay, so beer hat. It has, like, a, when you try it, it has, like, a leak in one of the, like, uh, you know, the uh, tubes that go to the mouth. Yeah. But that's you, you can patch that up. Yeah. Otherwise, you have now a beverage hat. Um, uh, it says um, Peeler's number one. Peelers number one? Yeah. You know, peelers. Okay. Yeah, the the very good um skate skit ball team. Skate, the peelers. Skate the, skit the, ball. Peelers. The Schittsburg the Schittsburg Sh Peelers. Sh 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 okay, hold on, let me write that down. No. <laughs> okay. okay. Is shit is Schittsburg's uh <laughs> prosper's second name? Okay, it says Schittsburg's no. Peelers number one, got it. Well, it says Peeler's number one, but <laughs> you can, we can, like, say that the Schittsburg exists, and that's where they're from. Schittsburg exists. Yes. Yeah, it's Prosper. God. <laughs> okay, oh, well, boy. I can't buy anything. That's um, it. I spent I all lied. my barter. I lied. Every, I had okay. no barter this whole time. I spent, I spent fif all 15 of my barter. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you did, huh? <laughs> I wanted to. I, I need to get it rid of it. Right, Rusty and it's looking like, at hey, all of it. Now you probably feel better about it. Yeah, Rusty looking at all his barter. I got, I got too much of this shit. Kind of too good for too long. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay. With that, I think we can go ahead and switch to uh, Giuseppe again. Um, you're hey, yo. moving. Yeah, you're moving through the <laughs> through the market. It's not long until you see somebody. Uh, we'll say they're a relatively short guy with long hair. Uh, he looks quite. Yeah, relatively elderly. He is black and blue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and he looks God. very angry. Uh, and I think he sees you and he recognizes you. And he's like, you son of a bitch! You <laughs> mercs! You mobsters! Beating me like that and taking my shit! I was about to buy the... And like by now he's like right up to you and he's basically wagging his finger in your face. He's like, I was about to buy that damn generator and your little thuck! He hit me so hard I was out for half an hour! What are you gonna do about it? Uh... Seppi's just like, oh man, I'm going to... Donnell gets go. Donnell gets time Finished out. Finished the thinking, job. Donnell gets time. Donnell gets time. Time out. Let me get back on the Exodia. <laughs> but he says out loud, "It's like uh, I can pay you. We got. I got a lot of stuff here." Pay, pay. Yes, I'll uh, take pay. If you pay. don't want pay, what do you want? Shut the fuck up! I don't want pay. Shut up. <laughs> mm. Well, considering medical expenses for my beaten and bloodied face it's not bloody and the mental trauma of a horrible young man attacking me he doesn't seem very hurt about that i'd be willing to just uh, let this go for mm, say eight barter jesus take it or leave it or else i'll bring it up with the guys upstairs you know what? Fair enough. I You're on a. Can you not see this? I just like this drop. Man? I just drop like a chest on his head. Not actually on his head. Just like. On eight, his eight foot. Eight boat on him. Boat, eight boat near him. 
they you just, just take out like a nice like a congealed chunk of like silver of the various jewelry you found you're just gonna you just give dr- it to him you just fucking plop it and like it smacks like i don't know his fucking face on the way down it like kind of you know he's a short guy and he's like ah you son of a bitch finishing what you started oh <laughs> that nice was day, my man. suggestion but uh unfortunately jacob did not want to kill the old man finish the job <laughs> In broad that. daylight. I mean, that's, that's Finish the, the li- job God started. That's the <laughs> <line>. <laughs> Anyway, I can't kill him. That's the alignment check. There's no <laughs> fucking alignments. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, but like with that said and done, you know, eight boat is eight boat, but I still got 12 left. I want to take a look around yeah. for. I, since I want to improve my gang. Josie brought up to me that they're kind of, like, ill-equipped. Like, Bung has is good with his weapon, because he's just, like, already combat-skilled. Everyone God. else just sort of, like, scrounges, just, like, fills around with what they have. So I kind of want to, like, look for, like, any, like, particular, like, weapons that would be, like, useful for my game to have to increase their attack power. Hmm. Uh, how about you... S- what if you, like, set them each out to get something? That's Except like, Darnell. Yeah. They're Except for Donnell, sm- can I can I like give can I look for something for Donnell? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, then Donnell gets to stay in timeout, but me I, I don't tell him that we're going to search for stuff, but Fuzz, Bung, and I like go split up to look for stuff. Okay. Um I think by the end of it, uh we'll we'll deal with like everyone who isn't Darnell. Um <laughs> Fuzz has picked out a it looks like a pretty high power uh like rifle um it looks like i think you could recognize like military equipment it looks like stuff that you wouldn't find in a sports store oh god that would cost i think eh, it would cost two barter in itself okay considering like one barter is for any particular okay item uh Mm. we have like yeah we're gonna assume we like have like substantial ammo for stuff like this right ammunition is generally not something you have to care about unless i mention okay, it yeah bung i think comes back with an even bigger shotgun uh <laughs> it's not a sawed off uh it's a big pulp pump action like you know of dark darkly painted black and most importantly it's not like a shitty like one shot deal uh mm-hmm. so we'll stat that all, all these weapons out in a second but that's basically what he grabs we'll say that would be three barter as well Wait, was the, no, that, was, no that'd was... be two barter as well okay. um Let's see. Quill comes back, I'd say, with... It's... You know what Uzis look like, but you haven't seen something quite like this, because it looks like an Uzi that is meant to, like, spend bullets, like, breathing. Holy it's, shit. like, supposed to just... <laughs> this it's, bas- it's basically, like, if you've played Lisa, it's the Pistler. It just pisses bullets. <laughs> um... you confirm that, Mike? <laughs> That that yeah, does that's, sound like a good weapon. Yeah, that's what um that's what Quill gets. Uh and I think that just leaves uh your boy. Yep. I gotta look for something to maybe give to Donnell because I'm not trusting him to like go out and get another thing himself. I think DuckTales specifically like refuses. Like he's like uh, you're like, hey, let's go buy a weapon. He's like, mm, no. I'm good. He's Thank got you. he's got glio gl- gl- glasses if he needs to like conk someone. No one's, no one's going to go attack DuckTales. DuckTales is immune to harm. DuckTales is immune to harm. Look at it's, him. Listen, it's not even plot armor. It's not. He's he just, just immune. Is. Yeah, it just is. Okay, so should I roll for like looking for an item? I guess it might not be. Like, uh, it depends on what you but, want. Um, I don't know if we established like, what kind of thing like Donnell used. Maybe like... Hmm... A bat with two nails. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, we're not going by the um, the uh, we happy few design. Uh, <laughs> where you just take a thing and then you just add another rock to it. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna add a bunch of teeth to this uh bat to make it stronger. Hey, no, Jacob, Jacob, do me a favor, <laughs> get him a climbing axe. <laughs> oh yeah, it'll be useless here. Uh. 
Shut up. Michael, Michael, it is now even more useless than in the forest now here. Jake, Darnell is going to prove you wrong, hopefully. Michael, I'm going to prove him wrong. Me, I always Seth. Did think of, like, Darnell as, like, more, like, melee than the others comparatively, so maybe I'll look for, like, something that could, like, replace his shitty bat, and he could just, like, use a pistol if he needs it. That's an idea. Um, do you have anything in mind? Hmm, what would we, like... Okay, some... I hey, have, Rusty, like, a do you have any knife, knives? <laughs> no! I'm not just going to... I... I'm not just going to take Rusty's knives. You could! I mean, you could ask him. I could. You could go ask him. Well, I mean, there's a couple things. You know, there's like a taser. Hmm. Um, I'll just start listing no. interesting little things. Please don't do a taser because Darnell is absolutely the kind of person who would tase himself for fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's the motivation, but that's the motivation, babe. Uh. Um, I think like there's just general like things, you know. They're just like in general weapons, like machetes. There's like a couple of longer blades. There's like knives and an and axe. different like, yeah. Well, yeah. Not just any axe. Yeah. There is a a double bladed war axe. <laughs> is it real? Oh, no, Josie. There is. There's like a specialty shop that like it looks like they find old old like even older than before times weapons. And like rebuffs, you know, like you, you know the guy who like takes shitty like hyper rusted stuff, like knives, and like sharpens it and makes yeah. it good. Yeah, the dude who makes they... shit out of everything. No, not that person. They basically do that, but with like hyper rusted, like you know, axes and maces and swords. But the most impressive thing they have is a very large battle axe. I don't trust Darnell. I don't trust Darnell with that either. <laughs> Yeah, me neither. I don't know, but that may make him more fun, but... Hmm. Darnell is looking at you with puppy... the Well, as puppy dog eyes as he can with his sleazy face. But he is how just much, like... How much is the axe? <laughs> You're just gonna do it? <laughs> no, I'm just asking. I don't know about this. Yeah, you go up to the proprietor who's just kind of like sitting around. They don't look like they get a lot of business, but what business they do... It's like an antique shop, you know? Like, they have expensive things, and sometimes they make a sale, and that usually keeps them going. And, like, you know, they're sitting there kind of, like, dozing off on a chair. And you ask, like, how much it is. And he kind of, like, you know, opens one eye and looks up at you, kind of, like, judging you. And he's like, mm. <laughs> And somehow he somehow produces a, 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 a toothpick into his mouth. He's like, well, who's asking? Um... I respond to this. <laughs> What's your name, Sonny? Uh, I'm Giuseppe Jazz, they call me. Hmm, one of them heroes of millions they keep talking about. Uh, yes, mm. that would be me. Well, everyone else here is too pitiful for my weapons, so I suppose I could deign to allow you to purchase my fine wares. Mm-hmm. Mm, and he, like, you know, he's uh, now he's got a beard. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he's running his, his hand through his beard. Is this man related to Goldman, by chance? You don't know. You don't You're know. not there. You don't ask. You can open your brain to know. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, shut the... <laughs> <laughs> no! I know, brain don't get blast. To. Yes, he is. Nice. He's Goldman's cousin. Holy shit. Yes, you can take uh, experience for this if you yes. have uh, weird... <laughs> You just like suddenly just like you know fucking like brain blast. I wonder what I wonder what the relatives like, of Goldman are like, like. You're just like there's a man who is related to Goldman somewhere in the world. I like to imagine Lug was just passing by the shop earlier, looked in the window like yeah. That that's yeah. Ellen Goldman's cousin. <laughs> Never mind just that like, though. Just gains it. Never mind that though. Uh, that's not my business. <laughs> that's not my business. Um, that's not where my story ends. <laughs> well, considering the uh, mar uh, the uh, the craftsmanship and the work it took to to get the dang thing in the first place, I'm thinking that oh, ten jingles pretty fair. Hmm, I cannot afford that. <laughs> that is like quite a few jingles more than I have. Considering I'm buying like 
Four other things. Did Quill's weapon cost anything? Did it just cost two? Yeah, each of the others cost two. Okay, so I have six. I mean, That's like, not do understand thing. that there is... You can say words at people. You can, you can make roles. Slash manipulate. You can go ask Rusty or Lug to come back and help you. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, Rusty has no money. Rusty I mean, can, like, I don't appeal, have to have but... money. I don't have to have money. I can talk. Rusty has a mouth. Hmm. Regrettably. Yeah, you have a mouth, too. Yeah, you you have a yeah, mouth? I should call people here. Hey, you can do whatever know, what you do want. I yells just like, Hey, buddies, come over here. I'm trying can... to get... I'm trying... I'm making very bad decisions. Lug, bone feels over. Hey, hey, Lug, can you threaten this man so that he can lower his prices? I'm trying very hard to say... Try and haggle. <laughs> yeah, I'll haggle. Um... Let's see. What did, okay, I don't think any of my everybody eats questions should be good for this, but um Well like yeah, you so can also say words at them. You can actually no, like, wait a minute. you can um, narrate. Are you hearing um, anything I'm saying? Um no. I think I've No. I, I am hearing. I did just get a new move. Hmm. But I guess that's just that'd be like a general NPC thing, not like a specific one. Outful and gracious. Pretty much. Okay, so I don't think I could use that here. I am on my hands and knees saying, talk okay. to this man. I will, I will, okay. <laughs> you don't have to do a move, is what they're saying. Like, you are a person, you have lips. Okay, People I'm have sorry, to talk I'm to sorry. each other when they... Okay, uh... No, they don't. Ten vote is quite a bad amount, but, hmm... You know... I must say, like, I do love your wares here. They're, they remind me like one of my old friends, actually. Collects, tries to collect a bunch of stuff like this. I might have to show him here sometime. Hmm. Well, I don't recognize who you're talking about, unless you tell me who the hell they are. Um, you happen There's to not many people in my trade, so perhaps I've met him. Uh, you happen to know a man named Cope? He, like, has a look between, like, impressed and a grimace. You know, sort of like a, mmm, damn. Yeah, I know him. I sold him a vintage Morningstar a good year or two back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't know he's... what he uses it for, but hopefully it's to keep himself safe. You know, self-defense and all that. That's what all these are for. Yeah, I'm sure of that. He's he's shown it off to me a few times whenever you stopped by the bar recently. It's been a while since I last see him. Mm. I, hope he, I hope I can c catch up with him again soon. Mm, well, perhaps how about this? I'll give you the special discount if you tell him to come back and give me another ring. Cause that boy, mm, that boy had had money to had money to throw around. Mm -hmm. All right. Nine uh, I can definitely do that. Five bota. <laughs> <laughs> what? You went up in price. <laughs> no, oh, right. He said eight. I thought it said ten. No, yeah, he said he ten. He said ten. Yeah, he said ten. You went oh. down. Nine barter is one lower. Okay, nine boda. Yeah. Make Darnell pay for it, for Christ's sake. Does anyone Darnell else? got money. <laughs> he has to have at least one barter. Let me recount. Darnell, you saw um, this money for drugs, remember? Uh, Let's sell the drugs back! Okay, let me just count. He can't, he's already smoked it all. He's not a dealer. Yeah, he don't know how to deal. Get a refund. He, he it's can't. It's faulty. Five, no, it's no, no, he, he signed a contract Five, saying he can't. No refunds. 15, 20. Okay, so I did have 20. Um... Plug, can I borrow Giuseppe a didn't. from you? You can like manipulate me if you want. Me? What? Don't say that. I, I want to like I need to borrow a boat from someone to afford this since I have like eight at the moment with paying for everyone else's weapons. I I I okay here. Wait, idea wait, let me idea. Count again. Um, how about how Jake Jacob? Eight, hear me out. So, okay, 12, Jacob. 10, Jacob, slow down, please. Five. Jacob, hear me out. You got four bar from the thing, and you gave me all but one. I have yeah. one left. Let's just say that you gave me two and you kept two. Uh, okay. You think that works? It literally works. Okay then. Okay then. Let's say let's retcon that. We I have the two bowder, so that should be enough for me. So you that means we literally will all come out of this having zero barter. Hell yes, clean start. It works. <laughs> okay, so I have this bowder. I can like pay the. Nine boater? Yes. Nine yep. boater. Okay, nine boater to get this fancy battle axe. 
Yeah, you, you start offloading the various fucking bags that you have all your, like, stuff in. And it's like, is this enough? And it's like, mm -mm -mm. Is this? Mm -mm. How about this? Mm -mm. And the pile just keeps getting higher and higher until you, like, finally you're like, just take off, like, I don't know, a, a fucking wristwatch. And you're like, this is all I have. And he's like, he gives himself a nice self-assured nod and he's like, that'll do. Take it. She's yours. And he, like, very gently takes it out of its glass case, picks it up gingerly, and then hands it to you like he's handing you his, his like, baby. All right. I, got the I big really guy. wish it wasn't Darnell who was going to use this. It doesn't yeah. have to be. But it, but the purpose was to get it for Darnell. Is the sure? But you issue. don't have to give it to him. You bought he's, it. He's you don't have to. Right Please now, don't you know. give it. <laughs> Listen, if I see you with see Darnell, as if Rusty sees Darnell with that thing, I am going to accost him. No, this is it. just like the um, the the McDonald's uh triangle. And Giuseppe is just showing that he is the sort of person who would, like, go to McDonald's and get a single black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> he would go to McDonald's, get himself a fucking cheat, or uh, get, him, get a giant battle axe, and be like, this is mine. <laughs> and Darnell could just sit there being sad. Of, instead of sending him to timeout, I think this is a pretty good punishment. <laughs> it's like, I'm buying myself this as a gift to myself because I work so hard. Goodbye, Darnell. <laughs> you are, you are banned from the boat. Goodbye forever. <laughs> it's being put on display in the bar, and if someone needs it, they can just take it. <laughs> you put it. I it's suppose. heavy though, so they'd like have this to like, is actually put This is effort. basically the Winchester on like the the bar's mantle. God. God. Nobody I mean, knows if it's real until you use it. To be fair, this will probably increase the value of the bar a little. Oh, absolutely. This is like a talking piece. People will come to the bar and be like, yo, is that a fucking battle axe? And some people will be like, that can't be real. It's probably made of plastic. And then you come up and be like, yep, it's real. Got a genuine myself. It's chewy. You know, it's spit okay. glass. And okay, then but here's it. the thing. You charge people to show them it's real. <laughs> or, uh, well, yeah, you charge them, but you also split the table in half. You pay, make them pay for the table, and also, <laughs> <laughs> and also for the you know ability to like see the, the that it's real. God. Okay. And that could be you could basically one hundred percent use that as your cultural like act if you wanted to. <laughs> good. Oh my god. Yo, that's great. This I love that. This is really that. good, Josie. I'm glad we did this. I'm Thank glad Darnell's not gonna get it. <laughs> Same. Okay, so... Okay, so that adds Darnell up. is very upset that you haven't immediately handed it to him. You brought him in there. <laughs> He hounds you the whole way back to the boat until, like, you just walk on, set it on a nice little, like, stand, like, on the wall, and he's just, like, he gets the hint, and he's, like, he oh. walks back. He walks back to his quarters and slams the door. <laughs> this is, this is no absolutely kill, punishment no one, enough. No one attacking old men. Oh, my God. I love this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, I'm out of uh, bonus, so I think that wraps up my stuff. So, in summary, yeah, we real got. Quick, I'm gonna, real quick, I'm gonna make a note. Yeah. Uh, Darnell it... will remember. No, this. no, no. The note will be like what the like proprietor's name was. Uh, that's Gorgeous Goldman. Gorgeous <laughs> Goldman. Ooh, that's really good. That is that is the man who sold you the battle axe. So are the are the Goldmans gonna be like the Hernandez family where they're just everywhere? <laughs> Sure, except not all of them are like utter shitheads and freaks. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Only some of them. Sure. I mean, like, right. you, like the difference is that in Lisa being a freak means you're a pedo. Uh, in this world, it just means that you're a little kooky. Fair. Um, but yeah, that uh, that god that sounds like the, all the business that you can probably get done. Yep. So yeah, <laughs> in in, way, in millions. Yeah, in some way we got like I paid off the man who. Who Darnell tried to hurt. Um, and Well, he succeeded in hurting, but only just a little bit because, like, Darnell's just not good at that. He was too intoxicated to hit straight. <laughs> but yeah, let's, uh, let's real quick stat out those weapons you got. I'm going to get the gun lugger up. If you want, get the gun lugger up and we're going to look at these guns. Uh, most okay. of them will... They're not going to be one-to-one. -one. They're probably going to have some modifications. So, <clears throat> hmm, for... Okay, for Fuzz's rifle... We will make it like 
part silent sniper rifle, part hunting rifle, in that it'll be uh, three harm, far, uh, loud, precise. And precise will mean that if you pick someone out, she'll be able to find them and get them with no trouble on her own. Mm-hmm. For the Pistler, <laughs> um, Quiz's Pistler, it'll be, let's see... It cannot be auto fire. It has. I think it's going to be a two harm area, close. Yeah, two harm close area. What else would it be? Infinite. It does not run out of ammo. <laughs> it just never seems to run out, no matter how hold how long you hold it down. That's good shit. That's fantastic. Good. <laughs> Made good decisions today. I hope you're. I hope you're writing down the stat block because I'd like a a copy of it. <laughs> I may have to right. go back in the video. Oh, oh have, were you not writing that down? I thought you. I'm just fucking. Okay. I, I can do it would. immediately right now. It's okay. Okay, so um, okay now for big shotgun. Bung's, Bung's shotgun will be, let's see, three harm, close, messy. I guess it'll just be like a good shotgun. So yeah, three harm, close, messy. Okay, and then I guess just that leaves the axe. Well, I guess the axe is just like melee, big. Yeah, that'll be golly gee. Four mm. harm. Fragile. Say four harm and fragile, so you deter us from like using that as a MacGuffin. Five harm. <laughs> five Six harm, harm is like five harm is bisecting a person in half. Yeah, we can't it is, go that I know. far. Yeah, that's why I'm saying it. No, beyond like three harm is reserved for like explosives. So we'll say, Damn it. uh, it is three harm. Armor penetrating. And messy. Uh, let's see what else. Make it better than machete, of course. Um. Armor penetrating. No, no, I don't think it does that. Oh man! Instead, we'll say that it is severing. Severing. It is messy and severing. So if like, not only is it like you know a difficult weapon to use that like usually results in a lot of bleeding, uh, if you if you hit with it, people are gonna lose parts. <laughs> I'm glad Darnell doesn't have this. I am uh, too. We won't call it fragile because it is a relatively normal weapon. All things considered, it's just very nice. Okay, that's all marked down. Um, actually, also put ornate. It's got lots of little like it's very shiny. It's well sharpened. It's worth more because of that, and that's all okay. that ornate does. It just looks you know, better. It's, it's got little. It's got some carvings. They, I think, Goldman carved like a little, you know, uh, emblem onto it to say this is like you know this is his work. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that is that let me write that, that down that's it for me then so i like took me a while to like do the rp it's all good and messy severing. i think did good once i figured it out okay yep that's all that okay okay i think that's that is that everything all the business uh one did last Lug thing want to do a second thing or not yeah, because he you... has no boto left i didn't have anything regardless i don't think you don't have anything? I have one last thing right before we leave millions. I want to do one thing, all right? All right. All right, I'm going to go to Elena, all right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to knock, knock, knock. Come on in. Come in. This is a this is a hospital. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Room. I'm going to knock anyway. <laughs> I'm so used to knocking on the fucking Exodia all the time. Right. So I'm going to knock before I come in anyway. Uh, I'm going to... Hey, Elena, it looks like we're fixing to leave. Just want to say bye. You know, and he holds out his uh his new prosthetic out to shake her hand. I think she grins and like you know reaches out with her own hand and grabs <laughs> yours and it's like, um, mine comes yes, loose. I heard. Yours comes loose. <laughs> yeah, mine both comes of th- loose. both of them come loose. <laughs> both, yeah, both of them come loose and they both clatter to the floor, <laughs> and she looks down. I'm gonna look down too. And she like claps her 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 meat hand onto your shoulder, and it's like, you're gonna go far. I'm gonna wheeze. I'm just gonna wheeze from laughing so hard. She is so proud of you. <laughs> like she look, it, it's like the same look as like a, a child graduating high school, you know. <laughs> oh, that's the last thing, though. Uh, okay. I'm gonna give her back I her hand. I just like though. say my goodbyes as I'm heading out. I take her hand. <laughs> yeah, I take her hand, and she gets she gets the fucking the uh the hook. 
<laughs> sorry, sorry, my hand. No, no, no I, I just give it back to her. Uh, well, <laughs> that's it. That's how my story ends. I gotta go before they shove off and leave me. So long. <laughs> Later. All right. And I think with that, y'all finally leave millions for possibly the final time. Ah, oh, no. So long, millions. I'm upset. Uh, one I thing love that you, you do but see you're also scary. You leave, one thing that you see before you fully leave uh, is that they've made an extension to that statue that you saw in the plaza. Yeah. Uh, instead of just like the spear holder and the you know the uh, the former queen on the ground, uh, there are three figures uh, surrounding the spear holder, uh, all supporting them. Uh, and you realize like that while they're pretty minimal, you can tell that like each of them are supposed to represent one of you. Uh, Rusty is supporting the spear holder's back. Uh, Giuseppe is guiding their arms. And Lug has a hand on the spear, uh, guiding it to their throat. Hella. Or to the, you know, the traitor queen's throat. Yo, that's Hella. Hey, Seth, are your commissions yeah. open? Yeah. <laughs> do, do I need to draw my... <laughs> Yo, Roll that's to see sick. If you can draw the commission, Seth. Uh. Yeah, that is uh, millions. Goodbye, millions. So long. Goodbye, millions. So now, can I get you to roll fortunes? Yeah. Damn. As yeah, soon as good. Rusty steps foot on the boat, <laughs> a slot machine <laughs> thing starts playing. It's like. I want to. I want to imagine it's more like the Mario Kart mystery box. <laughs> no, that's what I was. That's what I was oh. doing. Okay. It seems. Uh. They what well, they have hunger and disease as their wants. Mm. This isn't good. Which it's funny because it doesn't matter which way, uh they're going to always have hunger because party is just gonna consume. <laughs> uh well So what do you think they're taking the form this time? I figure hungry I have an idea. Oh you like have an maybe idea? They, well, sort of like they're trying to stay away from all their you know, Is all their favorite food? foods. Yeah. They're like, no, we can't. We have to make this last. So they're rationing, That's like a... their favorite foods, and so they're just like, yeah, you know, every time they're give, yeah, they're just like, mm, I can't, I can't, I can't just indulge in my favorite shit, and then I'll never be able to eat it again. God. Okay. Yeah. That's that's that works for hunger. Yeah. So uh, they're they're all pretty like, they're not haggard, but they're just they seem tired a lot, and they you know a lot of them are kind of like in the general like hunger pains stressed can't, yeah can't eat you know, getting back on the ocean after not being there um i'd like to say homesickness oh for disease if that, and, if that works no yeah that, that absolutely works okay. they're like they're kind of yeah so they're like they're like homesick and they're trying to stay away from the food from their home so that they don't yeah. lose it oh that's sad it yeah, is you, sad none of your folks upset. are having a really good time oh, i think on top of I was thinking on top of that, like, that nobody's really used to being on a big, big boat. Big boat, yeah. Like, it's much different being on a small boat or a, a raft. Like, this thing, like, you know, it, it tilts and stuff. There's a you lot know, of it, stairs. <laughs> yeah, there's there's stairs now. What the fuck? I hate On this. a boat? I have yeah, to it's, walk? It's, not, it's, it's difficult and unstable, and sometimes, like, some of them haven't, like, bolted down, like, their, like, chairs or beds. So like it slides while they're in it. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, they're they're having a very stressful, rough time of it. Yep, it's kind of cruddy. Man, I feel bad uh, now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So, uh, what would be the first thing that you'd be working on, uh, Lug? I think the most important thing, because while the engineers are self-sustaining i think mm -hmm. it would be a very important thing to get this crane operating so you can kind of make make scavenging a whole lot more easier right plus it can go a lot deeper than a prison can. yeah yeah okay uh i think i wrote a note about yeah the crane you're gonna have to use two of those three like speedboat motors that you're using on the original exodia uh, if you want to use that and i think it'll take half a week i'm gonna say that this session will take place like in the week preceding leaving millions 
Okay. So half half of the time between then and now will be taken up uh, making that crane operable. Okay, and how? What about the the uh, diving equipment? Making the air kind of not a pump thing, but it just come from the canisters we've got. Um, I'm gonna say you're gonna have to use your final engine on that. Let me think. You have three tank canisters, just as a reminder. Oh right, you did get those. Um, and an air compressor. Yeah. Hmm. That actually makes me wonder, like, why you want to have this whole thing, unless like. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're if you're bringing the thing to go deep, you're gonna need someone to get down there to like attach the hook and everything. To whatever big thing you're pulling up. I suppose. Yeah, I think like the most you have to do, I think, is cannibalize that last uh, speedboat engine. Otherwise, you have everything you really need for it. Like, you have okay. the tubes, you have the, the helmets, sort of. Right. Yeah. Just saying that this stuff all uses fuel, so if you're in want of fuel, uh, you know, this is going to be a difficult thing to work. Alrighty. Um, so yeah, that relies on fuel. Um, I'd say that'd take, I suppose, the most of the rest of the week. You can probably get started on another project if you'd like. It's been it's been a long week. Yeah, you take a break. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Get to know the uh comments and criticisms of the ship. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I think something important goes on for giuseppe uh after about a week at sea you know a bunch of work people trying to get used to their bullshit and you know kind of being cruddy giuseppe you realize that there's somebody that's in, been in the bar that never left and they've just kind of been there for a week <laughs> huh um they just like sit they've been in, it's like it's in a it's in a shadowy corner of the bar so it's like hard to see them they're not like a dead body are they <laughs> Have they been uh, they're paying? Pre they're they're pretty inanimate at the moment. Hmm. Um. Well, Giuseppe like needs to like check on that. So I guess he like after like like polishing maybe like a glass or two and like noticing that someone's there, he like walks towards there like slowly, just not like scare him off. Uh, hello. What are okay. You, what are you doing there? I, don't I think. Uh, you. <laughs> yeah, you start to get close, and then like they kind of jostle a bit, like they just got woken up. <laughs> and then they move into the the light, and you it's very shiny. Uh, and they go, What ho! Thou hast noticed mine presence at last! Mine uh, good Giuseppe! Coach! My old bud! When did you get here? Indeed, it has been years since we last deigned to acknowledge each other's presence, but I did not think that you would forget me so soon in your own bar. Uh, I didn't see you walk in. When did you get here? Why, I got here just as you left, and I've been here since you left. Millionaires oh. was a wonderful place. I got to talk to a very great number of companions. Good to hear. And I have heard of your I have heard of your exploits as well. Truly, you are a warmonger in the making. I guess so. I didn't expect it, but that's how it is. You could have like told me if you were here, you know, I would have like helped you out for a few drinks, buddy. Oh, no, no. I simply could not have. Uh, it is not It is not proper, simply, for a knight to make their presence known without somebody having acknowledged them first. I see. Mm -hmm. One of the 47 rules of knighthood. Fair enough. Is this like the... Giuseppe just like sort of nod. Giuseppe like think nods his head a lot of it. Like, Cope's a good friend. He's just like, sometimes it's a little weird. They're a little weird. Yeah, he just like nods so, Huh. It's nice to see you sticking around. Indeed, indeed. I suppose I have, uh, I suppose I have, uh, simply avasted myself of your, um, hospitality. However, I will say that I can, uh, pay you back. Whatever you need to, buddy. Indeed, indeed. What a wonderful vessel you have made for yourself, Giuseppe. You've really gone up in the world. Mm, truly, uh, truly. Well, let us retire to our quarters so that I may regale you with tales of my exploits. Certainly. Okay, and I, I think y'all will, like, have a good a good sit-down and talk. Yeah. Um, it's nice seeing a friend. Um, let me post a picture of him since 
don't actually know if it's he or they actually. Um, but let me post a picture. <laughs> uh, while you do we don't, that, uh... we've never we've never seen under their armor, you know. Nope. We don't need to. Yeah. Uh, let me switch over to Lug real quick. Lug, you've been pretty hard at work, but you think you finally sit down in your in your workshop. You know, you've been outside a lot. There's a lot of sun out there. There's it just never stops. You know, like your your the back of your head is sunburnt where the metal isn't, and the metal feels pretty warm. Uh, it does not work well with with a lot of heat. It's an it's an interesting and kind of upsetting new feeling to be like, oh, the metal part of my head is too warm. I gotta get in the shade instead of being like I'm sweating a lot. You know, right? Uh, you feel like you could, you could. I think one hundred percent you could fry an egg if you knew what an egg was. Or no, you well, do know what an egg I was. Mean, we have one. Yeah, <laughs> we've got one. Yeah, well, yeah. If you put the egg on your head, it would probably, bo you know, it would it scramble. <laughs> uh, so be careful. Ooh, uh, not doing that. Uh, but that's I think one murder to... option gone. Yeah, yeah, you you finally go downstairs into uh, your workshop. How secure is all the stuff in your workshop? Considering like there's a lot of tossing and turning of the waves. I well, think... there's actually there's no waves, of course, but the the boat still moves like that. I think most is bolted down, and there's probably like rims on most of the tables, kind of to stop things from sliding off. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. You thought ahead, unlike everybody else. Uh, I figure that Giuseppe didn't like might have lost a bottle or two, like. Because, like, you know, he's just kind of transferred his whole bottle and, like, booze collection over there. And it's like, oh, wait, shit. Uh, so now I think Giuseppe probably uses... What do you think? You, does he use something like... um? He's uh, glued them down. No. Do, has he? Get that gorilla glue like, out. So. He doesn't have, like, a wine cellar or anything. Um... Do you think he does that thing sort of like how uh, vending machines do it? Where they just have, like, a nice little, like, you know bar of material that's in front of it that makes sure that it doesn't fall down that's probably it yeah it yeah, mostly yeah, works mostly. mostly mostly some bottles are a little too small or a little too big i think that everything's accounted for in your workshop except for one thing oh no uh you realize that you can't find the bundle that had the noodle oh no oh no don't say this what does how does lug feel what does he do something of his isn't in where he thought it was I think that's kind of a. I think he would kind of. It would it would be kind of like a five stages of grief thing. I think he would first he would kind of overturn his workshop. I think he would kind of overturn it looking for this. I mm. think his next action would be to go and like bother anyone he sees. Like, hey, did you do that? Did you yeah, do it? I think as as soon as you like exit your workshop. And you kind of like, you know, do a little left and right, because this is still a pretty new, like, you know, environment for you. Uh, you look more towards the back of the ship and uh, like just coming around a corner is like a little flash of that silvery goldish yellow of the noodle before it like disappears around the corner. Uh, on its own? Yeah. Is it on the ground? Yeah. Uh the fuck are you going after that he's gonna go okay, after yeah. that that's not good <laughs> yeah you kind of like curiously like what the hell you know around the corner and there's like the noodle sans like bundle uh just kind of like worm inching its way <laughs> next or like it's about maybe a foot or away, away from the engine and it looks like it's going towards the engine i want to if uh, if I if I were to open my brain, would I have time to pick it up as well? In case I think you can pick it up. I'd rather you pick it up first before you open your brain. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you got hands. I think I think Lug's gonna have to pick that thing up. Yeah, you you pick up the the noodle and it like it squirms a lot harder than you've seen it squirm before, and like it's almost like it's jerking, trying to jerk its way specifically to a spot that you realize is kind of like a weird open hole in the like i suppose quote unquote front of the generator and you think this is kind of the perfect size for that hole yeah i i think lug i think he looks at the hole and he looks at the noodle and he looks back at the hole and back at the noodle uh circa infinity and his eyes widen 
I, I think you, this you is... Do a, you do a papyrus. Yeah. And I think this is a good time for him to open his brain. Right. Uh, do you put it in? Oh, Holy fuck. Holy shit. Okay, we'll, we'll say you put it in, because this uh, is big. Damn. I really wish any of you had advanced opening your brain. Because <laughs> golly. If only. So. <clears throat> You're not on the boat. Lug sees himself standing over a fire. A fire crackling of wood. And when he looks around, there, it is simply an endless sea of green grass on top of brown earth under a deep blue sky. It is an utterly alien world to him. Beside him is a fat, pink-skinned creature that he does not recognize. And it simply looks up with lazy eyes. Lug feels a knife, curved and cruel, press itself into his hand. The fire is thirsty. What does Lug do? Hmm. I knew this was gonna go somewhere like that. Can can I open my brain in my brain? <laughs> I don't know what that would do. <laughs> it just cancels it out. He <laughs> boots you out. <laughs> it just restarts the whole thing. <laughs> no, I, I think I think you have to answer the question. What do you do? This is all that's around. Yes. Is, is, is the creature doing anything? Nope. It is laying there. Does it look like it's in pain? Nope. It doesn't respond when you touch it. It's like, it is alive, but it is not feeling. I think Lug needs to kill it. And put it in the fire. Out of everything that he's heard of... The, the the four times everything seems to match perfectly except for this thing one of these things is not like the other lug brings the knife down and then bleeds it onto the fire black smoggy smoke rises and fills his lungs and it twists him from the inside when the feeling fades you know that you will be swift and strong for the coming journey. You snap back into yourself beside the engine in your boat. You're standing in front of the second engine chamber. The knife is in your hand. You don't know where it came from. The chamber is full of blood. You don't know where it came from. And since you rolled so well, I'll give you a full explanation of what this means. The second chamber takes blood. The Exodia Plus moves faster and more steadily for a full week if you can fill that chamber of blood. Uh, considering your current crew, everybody would have to bleed themselves a pretty safe amount to fill it for, you know, if you all went at the same time. Okay. This okay. is unnerving. Uh, when, you put, when, you, when you next touch the engine, you feel a heartbeat. Is it mine? No. It is deep, and it feels large. I think Lug knows that above all else, I think he knows how Rusty feels with his egg. Damn. Damn. I assume the noodle is in the second chamber now? Uh, no. The noodle is slotted into the front of the ship. Except that it doesn't look like the noodle. It looks as though, like, it's simply fused into, like, a it looks like the same material as the rest of the engine. It's as though the hole was never there. Hmm. Um, Rusty. Yeah, Rusty. Uh, Nickel and Zink come running up to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and they look pretty, like, excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All things, all things considered. Uh, they come to you and they're like, Yo, Rusty, Rusty, Rusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah. We got something with the, cra uh, with the crane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah come see. It's yeah, yeah. awesome. All right, we'll do. Uh, Let's go. Yeah, where were you when, like, they came to get you? Um, checking up on people, because they're all sad and upset. Oh, okay, so you're, you're just around the quarters. I'm around, patting people on the back. Okay, yeah, they, they lead you up the stairs uh, and over to the crane. Uh, and it's like, we didn't want to pull it up until we, like, you know, got you. But, um, you know, they start to, like, haul the the chain you know, like, the, the engine does its work, but, like, you know, you can help it along. Yeah. Uh, and they help it along. 
until like a it's big like when you haul it out of the water like it displaces a lot of water on top of it holy shit uh it looks it's dark it's black and it's like shaped like it's like a box and like when people see it they're like oh that's that's not what i was expecting okay all right like i was expecting a car or something (laughs) uh i think more of your cultists have come over to like kind of like being like oh what's what's going on and i think a few of the jinniers too uh just a bunch uh, you basically have a crowd like being like what the hell all right uh and you bring it over and you swing it onto the like the the deck of the ship it's a very big box it's a very big box it's like made out of a weird rough black material Hmm. this all sounds very like non about to kill us non about to kill us uh Uh, what do you do so it doesn't have anything special on it no no Uh, seeming openings yes there are no symbols no signs it is a box uh, no openings. In fact, it's kind of weird because it doesn't it seem to have a lid. Okay, yeah, that's like what I was asking. It a doesn't lid. seem to have a lid. It like it looks like it's just made out of just material. But hey. you can tell it's hollow because you knock on it. And it feels it definitely sounds hollow. Hey, how's the egg reacting to this thing? The egg is still. The egg is still. Glowing or not glowing? Uh softly. Softly. Shit. Yeah, we can have two weird rolls. Let's go. <laughs> Let's you go. Opening your brain for this? Yeah. I'm not. I'm not well and weird. I don't. I'm not in battle. I wouldn't benefit. Golly. Golly. Why didn't you assholes? Hey, can I do that right weird. now? Can I do that right now? Can I advance you that do right have now? A point to do? It? Yeah, I got. I got a oh, point yeah, for rolling can... sharp. So. Abs- fucking absolutely. Okay, so let me get that up then. Oh, oh wait, <laughs> I can't get that up on my playbook. Let me get it up on my phone so I don't fuck up the recording. Uh. Give me a moment to get through Discord. Um... I mean, like the there's not much to the text of advancing this, of advancing weird. Oh, is there not? Okay, what you do I get? It is simply it. you see like beyond the the psychic maelstrom. I think. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Then let's let's see beyond this world psychic maelstrom. Do you have the the text up right now? Uh, I'm looking for it, so then I can. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, uh, so when you open your brain to the world's psychic maelstrom, roll plus weird, on a hit, the MC tells you something new and interesting about the current situation. It might ask you a question or two. Answer them. On a 10 plus, the MC gives you good detail. On a 7 to 9, the MC gives you an impression. If you already know all there is to know, the MC will tell you that. On a miss, be prepared for a worse. On a 12 plus, you reach through the world's psychic maelstrom to what's beyond it. I envy you finding out. Hey, quick thing. I just realized you forgot to ask me a question. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for opening that. Yeah, I'll I'll definitely ask you by the end, or probably All after right. this, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Let me let me get my brain ready for this. Okay, I will mark that on my sheet while you do that. I think you lay your hand on the box and you open your brain, but it feels very different. The box itself feels a lot different. It feels dense, like narratively dense rather than like just uh, materially dense and then you feel something kind of near your midsection and it feels like a short burning and a piercing but before you can look down at it everything disappears the boat disappears and then the ocean disappears and then the sky disappears and then you disappear and in the bleak blackness of the universe you see a light that gets brighter and brighter. So bright that you begin to be unable to see anything. Even you, you close your eyes and your eyelids start to feel like they're burning with the light until that symbol that was burned into, the, into your mind, into your eyes, stops the burning. And when you open your eyes, you see figures surrounding you above below to your left and right crowding around you but giving you room what do you do hey can i speak yes okay uh jeez okay so they're all over here what's going on he has spoken to us yeah they have found the way the way what's the way We do not have language for you. We are sorry. 
Oh. We have wanted to talk with you for so long. Longer than you have been alive. Longer than I've been alive? Well, how could you want to talk to me if I haven't been born? You are all not one. You are not like us. You are different. We are sorry. No. Uh, no. I don't know how to reply to that. <laughs> Do not be sorry. This is good. You have found the way. You have spoken to us. You have given us proof. You have given us hope. You know us as the light. Oh. He's going to perk out up at that. We love you. <laughs> Holy shit. We have always loved you. This world hurts you. We are sorry. We have done this to you. We did not want to. It simply is. When the time comes, please let us help you. I will. You must go. Your body hurts. Do not know why. We can only say, get rid of it. And then the world is back, and the universe is back, and the stars are back, and the boat is back, and your crew is back, and you're back, and you wretch on the ground. You've already thrown up everything that you've eaten today, and you, like, your body is rejecting something so hard. You've never felt this horrible in your life. Fuck. Everybody's standing around you, concerned. V so your cultists strangely knowing... And the Janir is kind of scared. And when you look even further down, you can see that uh, the egg has slightly fused to your stomach. <sighs> Giuseppe. Oh, man. You guys are having, having like, pretty... so much fun out there, and I'm like talking with my bro, with my butt about just like trivial adventures. Giuseppe, you're. Giuseppe, you're having a pretty good time with Carp, and he's finishing a speech, a small, <laughs> like, you know, an, essentially an epic about, uh, about some time that he, like, fought, uh, in a joust, uh, a boat joust, of course, there are no, and, like, he, he speaks of, like, of course, there are none of the equine persuasion, but I had to make do as a knight, they had, oh, they had besmirched mine honor, and thus I must destroy them and destroy them i did they flew so far giuseppe you would have been proud and but then there's a kind of a clatter in the hallway uh, and carp uh, stops what do you do uh, i think we need to um do you mind staying here for a second i need to check what just happened out there oh, you can come along nay as to. a knight i must go with you i am a protector of the innocent and of the peasantry all right, be warned. This weird we stuff shall happens around here. We shall face this darkness together. And he pulls right. out that mace that, you know, you heard Goldman talk about. It's seen wear and tear, but it is still pretty pretty nicely kept up. Good to know. Uh, you can still see the little emblem that uh, Goldman put on it. Sounds good. I still need to show him the axe right. sometime, but yeah, we head out into the hallway. Or just, like, okay, outside. Yeah, you head out into the hallway, and, like... You know that you and, and Lug had set up those lights, but those lights are, they're flickering heavily. Oh, that's like they're, not they're, good. They're dim at the best of times, but then a moment later, they're simply off for a good three full seconds, and they jitter back on. It makes N strange, like, tinkling noises above your heads. No, like, patterns, right? Nope. Carp says nervously, but I go, my boy, I do not like this. Um, same, same here, buddy. Uh, hmm, I, these lights are, like, work pretty well. Is something wrong with the generator? I'd have to talk with Lug about it. Let's try to, like, head out. You hear another, it. you hear another, you hear another clutter, uh, around the corner of the hallway. Or we'll check this out. He goes towards the clutter. Clatter. Carp comes with you, uh, and side by side you come around the corner. 
there you you see what is seems to be making the noise but you you're not sure how it's it made all such a clatter there's nothing around that could make that kind of noise uh but you see a figure uh at the oh, end no. of the hallway oh no oh no the lights flicker on oh no do i have my weapons on me i definitely shush, have my weapons shush, on me right shush 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 oh. stark white shirt deep blue denim pants a name tag an unfeeling face in the darkness in your home on your ship Aww, Josie. carp realizes that like carp sees you kind of seize up and he he brings up his his uh his mace and he's like ah i see the monster that you have so that has you shaking in your boots well have at you Behold, my vibe check strike. <laughs> I try to, I try to grab him back. I don't want him to get hurt. No. Can I grab him in time? Was he too late? Uh, roll. Uh, act under fire. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, do something under fire. I can roll my hot. Okay, this is good. Oh goodness gracious. Oh, Golly, fuck, yes. fuck I didn't people. This, Thank you, I didn't sidekick bot. I, man, well, I, damn. Why yeah, are we you, getting so many good you... rules when I decide to like not advance things yet? It's okay. Uh, what? So, play the scene out. You're grabbing him. You you do How what you want. How close are we to like an exit? I'd say that you're on the far side of the boat from the um, the the stairs. I don't think there's a general exit. Uh, on the lower deck, unless you were to open the howitzer door, or the secret area, but I don't think he knows. He doesn't about know that. about that. Okay. He does not. Um, I don't know if going through the howitzer door would be a good idea. If you really wanted, you could do a sharp roll to notice the secret areas. Hmm. My shop's not like super good. I just my only idea is like right now is like prevent anyone from getting hurt by getting the hell out of dodge. Like get onto the main deck where like maybe we can like be exposed. Although that may not be a super good idea either, but at least we'd have like people here and not be in an enclosed space. So hmm. I guess the best option would just be to like grab 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 Cope, somehow like hoist him. I don't know if I can hoist a person in full armor, but like maybe. I thought and it was just, fake like, armor. Like... Nope, it's real. It's ah. real. And then just like just somehow grab him and just like make and book it. Okay, uh, Jerry makes absolutely no moves as you, like, yank him like bodily by the like, uh, Hauberk collar, and he's like, ah! uh, as you like haul him like behind the uh the corner and you like make a beeline for where you're pretty sure the the stairs are because it's still quite dark and it's very disorienting not being able to see most of everything. And as you turn another corner, literally in your face, Jerry, this one looms over you, but it, makes it, no moves. He doesn't tell. He can't teleport, can he? Please don't tell me there's more on here. Oh. And then you hear a clatter. This is a this is a T section, I think. Uh, you know, in the corridor, and you see, you uh, you hear another clatter from the area that you weren't about to go and there's jerry and then you hear footsteps from where you came from and there's jerry oh no <laughs> this is fucked i can't take three jerry's i can barely <laughs> take one uh and session what, a... what? no josie <laughs> josie <laughs> what are you doing oh, josie <laughs> <laughs> why would you do this because I'm really mean. I love how Lug's having the best time out of all of us. <laughs> Lug knows what it's like to be a parent, and everyone else is just Lug, suffering. Lug, Man, me, the egg ate through my Stop clothes. Stop sitting there with your blood machine. You know, see these guys? They probably have plenty of blood inside them. How about you help oh. me deal with them, and then you got all your blood for your blood sucking machine? <laughs> Freaking out, guys. Well, maybe this maybe this was all happening while he was in his like fugue state. Okay. Yeah, I think I can, I can buy that. 
essentially everyone's vision, all the visions were happening at the same time, and this is happening, probably coming near the end of uh, of all the visions. Uh, I knew I wasn't going to be able to escape like without something happening to me. Oh man! Hi. Hi. <laughs> Such a good reunion, and then suddenly, like, oh my god. Okay, I need to calm down now. Okay. I guess we discuss things now. Sh Go ahead, should we, if you'd like. Sh uh, should, should we, we get HX well, first, first? Yeah, first of all, HX, so we don't forget that. So, who knows uh, Lug better? We didn't really interact with each other this session. It was mostly just going out to uh, uh, the market, getting things, and leaving. Do you think... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I guess Lug did give Giuseppe a whole bunch of faith that he would get the the right stuff. So. Hmm. And he did get the right stuff. I guess Giuseppe would know a little bit more. So I mark that? Uh, if Giuseppe knows better, then Giuseppe marks it. Okay. okay. Who knows Giuseppe better? Well, I'd say Lug because Giuseppe did in fact get what was needed. That's an improvement. That's an Wowie. improvement. Wow. Wow. I got two experiences bubbles this session, which is pretty good. And certainly uh, no shortage of like I still have that one improvement. Now who knows Rusty better? I didn't like hang with him too much. Um what did I do? So you shopped a bit. Um you two were the only two that shopped, so you probably saw each other with each other's stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that realizing sense. that you're both big spenders and like big shopaholics, <laughs> and it's like, hey, you're buying a bunch of shit because you're too rich too, and it's like, ah, oh, same hat. <laughs> same except that you, ha except that he does not have the same hat because you have a one of a kind hat. Yeah, I have a one of a kind hat. Also, okay, so uh... that's that we set that we set for Rusty's HX, so I get to mark another bubble. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna say also, uh, Rusty's trying his damn hardest not to let anybody see that fucking sewing book or supplies. <laughs> he wants it to be a secret. Okay. The bundle of clothing, he doesn't care because it's like, oh yeah, Rusty, he's probably just changing his clothes for once. Right. Idiot. Wearing the same t shirt for a whole fucking year. Fuck you. I know you like chick magnet t shirt, but you gotta, you gotta wear something else. Uh, but yeah. Hide that. I was gonna have oh, yeah. a perfectly good, like, maybe like 10 sessions in a row without, like, even seeing, just without seeing a Jerry other than, like, the one we saw on the wreck. And then this had to happen. Someone, <laughs> someone hit the lag time. switch. Someone hit the lag switch. Man, we should so. not have brought that engine in here I, why we why did we all like curse now like suddenly you all just like have like a like a mystic I mean, rusty's out. been cursed rusty's been cursed i feel cursed. like that's what bought the three j's to the boat now you guys like having your psychic maelstrom breakdowns wait no it's wait. from the generator wait 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 wait, wait <laughs> yeah wait. wait so lug doesn't know where the blood came from right nope oh. can i make an executive decision uh Say words. Can we say that there was a Jerry in there with him? And that in his fucking state of in this vision, the thing that he that he cut with that knife was actually a Jerry? Hmm. And he just fucking brutally murdered a Jerry without even realizing it. Yeah, yeah that's cool. So he wouldn't even realize that Jerry or any Jerry is on board as well also i will ask you a question next session i am sorry i totally like kind of got caught up too much in uh in the jerry no that's, that's totally fine it's fine yeah there's always an session that you can ask questions so we can not we can I, oh yeah i also have that? to i also have to ask you a big yeah. question yeah oh, you have to ask me this. a real nasty question so i i was like talking a bit but i had my key on the windows button instead <laughs> i'm just gonna say the jerry section was really really good Mm -hmm. oh god yeah this whole section was good. So what was gonna what was Josie gonna ask Seth? Oh no, oh. that was like next session. Yeah, next session. Yeah. Make so it we're as agreeing... mean as possible. <laughs> Might as well ask Make me have to sit here point, and like honestly, no, no, you no. just like 
leveled up. Like, not in the traditional, hey. like, improvement sense, but, like, something just happened. Hey. Man. Yeah? Uh, actually, this is for Josie. This is gonna be a personal message, because in case they want to use this as their very big fucked up question, I just got a very big question that might okay. work mm -hmm. real well. Okay. Okay, I'll take it. Alright, uh... Jeez, now, now Rusty's real impreg. <laughs> I don't like this. It's pull, not, is it permanently fused? Now. I don't like that. Just pull the trigger right now. Is it permanently fused? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, I mean, we could take it out by force, but you know Rusty's not gonna... Oh. We're not gonna have that. You old... You old... <laughs> oh, God. Man, now Rusty's right. glowing. Now we don't, even know what's, we don't even know what's in the black box. We just know that you, know, you went insane trying to comprehend it. I didn't go insane. I just started puking. Everything. That's what happens. Because uh, my you get egg. Message? Yeah, I get it. It's good. My egg is eating me. Just like Gormizer. We... I'm becoming Gormizer. I don't like this. Uh, well, like at least that. we know that Rusty's not going to become a one to one Gormizer because uh, Rusty's it's not. On his not shoulder. I mean, Rusty's not a shithead, is what I was going to say, but yeah. Mm. Well, think of it like this. Yeah. Rusty doesn't have a balding head. He just has several hairs. Gormizer, on the other hand, had shitty hair on like the side and back of his head. So. Rusty's got a cool hat. Fuck you, Gormizer. I got a cool hat that I get to put stuff into. This image you made is really good, Wind. Thank you. It's really fucking good, though. God. That's a very good image. Isn't it? I can only hope that this whole thing ends in a two-part uh, movie. Right. Time. And that most people will say that you shouldn't watch them, and then a bunch of other people say you definitely should watch them. Uh, time to figure out how to animate better, because making Lug do a uh, 420 Limp Biscuit was really difficult to fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a shit about lightworks. <laughs> uh, I can make things fade in and out and rotate a little bit. That's it. Oh my goodness, though. So. I'm not looking forward to that question. Can you make it mean? I know Michael probably made it real mean. And making me sit here have to be like, I don't know. I don't know. Do you think mine was mean enough? Uh, it's a good one. I like it. Thank you. And Michael gets some I'm question a, may, I might need to do a, I might need to do a um, Battlefield Instinct so I get into this big fight now. Just so I can, like, match up with everyone else. I, that was, like, something. Like, it was a good session overall. I loved it. You had some, like, good shop antics and, like, really good atmosphere. I really loved everything I got to do at the marketplace. This was a good session. I'm gonna obliterate Darnell. <laughs> Just because. Darnell's oh, gonna man. obliterate himself. <laughs> he is. He's gonna grab that Maybe? fucking axe and it's gonna fall on him. I'm. <laughs> Can I like call him into here? Just like distract. Serve as a distraction. Nah, he's busy hotboxing his room. Yeah. Oh. Um, I like I I really like Cope so far. You're doing you're doing him good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I had like a little like trouble like thinking of like what good dialogue to talk with him with. It's like Giuseppe like I figure out what voice Giuseppe would use with him, but like I think I got it eventually. I <sighs> like how it's just like sitting in the corner of the room. Just sits there. Now I can't wait to meet barbecue. Barbecue's so good. We need to like draw the characters more so like Josie has like a good description. I like talk I talked a little bit with Josie about like what to do with about like how to characterize Cope, so that helped. Man, I can't wait for next week. I need to know. I want I'm I need afraid to know of how... next week. I'm not. I need to know how just how Giuseppe gets out of this Jerry situation. I definitely I don't wanna lose another limb. <laughs> another piece of my body. Yeah. What are you doing? And, and I don't want Cope to get hurt either. And lose your head. Sorry. Now I need like the visual of like of Giuseppe like Scooby Doo running with Cope on his back. 
Josie, you still here? Yep. Okay. Streaming fine. Um, what else uh, did I want to like say? Um, talk. I know, like, still some of us are still like injured. Do you think that's like we've patched it up in this week? Yeah. Like, what? What am I at? Do you think? I feel like that's uh, going to be important for next session. Yeah. I figure another harm has been patched up. Okay, so like so you, you, you would patched up. Well, let me think. I would be at six then. What? Because we also had the week at millions to heal up. Yeah. So I suppose like two. Yeah. There was the week at millions. There was the week at sea. And that's all we did, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that's two two harm worth of healing. I think that still means I'd be at okay, six so though. I, yeah, I'm at I'm at three. Oh yeah, you were you were pretty messed up, huh? Yeah, you were pretty I like died up. from you died from getting hit with the cannon. Yeah, you, you got died, untenable. didn't you? <laughs> Luck died that one time. That was just it's like okay, though, he's fine. Kill. That was just like an instant kill. Like he was at like four harm when he was already at like five like three or so. Yeah. Okay. I am pretty sure it was I was at nine, then I got to or no, I was at ten. Got to nine from one week at millions and now I'm at six from a week at sea. I gotta say, uh Rusty did not bolt down his bed at all. He was enjoying all the rocking. <laughs> He's just gonna like, mm, yeah, this is this is fine. This is alright. I could get used to this. It's great. Man, I love this. I gotta go thank Lug later. Oh, so just to know, just to know, just to know, uh, the way the boat was made is that every room has essentially two two bunks in it, so two beds in each room, and one room has three. Yeah, who's bunking with Rusty? That's up for you to decide. Winky face. Wink. Wink. I've added the new weapons to my character sheet just to keep track of them. They're good weapons. Man, who who wants to bunk with Rusty outside of his I mean, outside it's a nice the regulars? Gun. I mean, it's a nice gun. I mean, it's a nice gun. Hey, Giuseppe, can I bunk in here with you right now? Uh, <laughs> how much? Room? I don't All right, thanks, bud. Giuseppe sleeps in. <laughs> Rusty just comes in and and sits on the other bed. Doesn't do anything. He just looks at Giuseppe. Can, he Sister. does that while his, Giuseppe's actual bunkmate is laying in the bed. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. I don't know who Giuseppe's bunkmate is. A bunk. I'm gonna say bung. Yeah, bung. I'm gonna say bung, probably, yeah. Who else? Um, I feel like Quill probably like, sleeps in the med bay. Well, no, she has, Quill like, and Fuzz share but... bunk, share bed, or room, pardon. God, yeah. Darnell? Darnell, sorry, you gotta sleep with Rusty. <laughs> okay, actually, no. Out of no. out of everyone in Rusty's cult, or possibly the engineers, who's most likely to also be a stoner? Uh, uh, let me let me look at my phone. Do you do you any of your engineers have names yet, other than like the main one who I've forgotten? Uh, I do Not have yet. one. I, okay, so I've drawn some like very rough character like silhouettes. And I do want one person to be named Percy Parmesan. Okay. They're the horse person. Gonna write that down. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I I mean that in a, a good way. Don't worry. Uh, let's see. Percy Parmesan's a good name. Bold italics. Percy Parmesan. Okay. They really hate when people call them pee pee. Else do you want to talk about? Um, should we just like mention the boat status next time naval combat comes into play? Uh, sure. Okay, right, we I didn't just, really like, get into. Yeah, we the... missed we missed that during the session. And I forgot. Mostly, but, like, mostly because like there wasn't a, a name that y'all thought of. Yeah, I kind of thinking like the wedge head or something, just like a reference to something. But and so it's like kind of like the boat. The boat's like kind of like something like you wedge in there to get like people to, like board. And wedge head is also like a reference to something. How about, hear me out, the party mm -hmm. pontoon. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. Uh, I think It's funny would... because it's definitely not a pontoon. <laughs> I know. Did I, I'll, like, post the stats again. Like, I'll scroll back up and, like, we post them. While you do that, uh, I think AC would bunk with Darnell. 
Just uh, he's, he's the spirit of the flesh one, right? Yeah. yeah. Why do you post a yeah. sex doll Ella up here? <laughs> Wait, hold on. What? No, At what? At the beginning of the session, you did. Oh, did I? <laughs> did I? Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let me get into the deep blue strand. <laughs> Let me. Yeah, there's what Josie posted earlier. Right, you know what? Yeah. Summit. This is like right. a fast, fragile boat that's designed for people to like jump, Here, like cram into it, and then like board into it from like a porthole on the top. Pody Pontoon's a good name, honestly, better than I can think of. It's real good. Darnell named it. <laughs> <laughs> we let him name the boat as like apology for not getting a, his own weapon. No, that was supposed to be a punishment. You're not supposed yeah. to say sorry for it. Giuseppe would. I feel like bad Giuseppe friend. He gave, would, like, though. Enough. He gave, like, slightly puppy dog eyes, so we gave him, like, the least uh, the least damage he could do, which is naming something. Hey, keep something. talking. I'm gonna get up. I think my cats are about to fight. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh, the girls are fighting. <laughs> uh. Um, what else do you want us to discuss before session ends? Uh, yeah, it was a really good session all along, like... I loved all the fun things as you. I know I had like a bit of struggle with RPing and talking a bit, but like, I think I got a hang of it. I'm glad yeah. I got to like, had a good situation to like introduce Copen with the uh, Goldman. I think they went their separate ways. I'm gonna say like I'd said in that Twitter post about how your style is, uh, God giveth and God taketh away. You've given us Shall everything, like... and then you took the carpet us... from us. Now you you give us us giveth us Rusty like turning into the egg. It's it's okay. It's what he would have wanted. Not really, but you know, a little upset about it. But now he won't be separated from the egg. I guess. Now he's got to find bigger clothes. Great. <laughs> I'm just getting a bo body horror. <laughs> now I gotta draw him with with the hat and egg. This sucks, man. Hey, I'm afraid I'm of like. Holes. I'm afraid of like once both of you get like the weird thing maxed out. I'm gonna have to put Rusty in nothing but crop tops now. <laughs> no, I, no, Seth, no. <laughs> think if I don't let me think about this. <laughs> let me think about this. What's there to think about? <laughs> okay. Hey, what's there to think about? It's either crop tops or he cuts a hole into all of his t-shirts where the stomach is. And, Just you know, live with a fucking beer belly man. No, no, he wants it to. He wants the egg to breathe, idiot. He loves the egg. Get flannel shirts. Okay, so you're telling me you want button up rusty, but it's not buttoned up. Yeah. You want you want titties though, <laughs> rusty. This no, is what you no. Want. Okay, then crop if top. He so had, we don't have to look. If he had chest hair, it would be showing. <laughs> But he doesn't. Man, you know, you know, Rusty would just have that as open as fucking possible. <laughs> Come on, man, you gotta, you gotta think this through. You gotta think like Rusty would, <laughs> like I have to do. Rusty, oh, I'm not, a, I'm not that big on fashion. <laughs> buy, buy some good clothing. <laughs> Buys a hat, opens that T-shirt up. Man, I really do have to get a new t-shirt for Rusty now. That- Man, that chick magnet t-shirt is fucking ruined! The, guys! His, his fucking chick magnet t-shirt's ruined! Pour one out for the t-shirt. Pour one out for the chick magnet t-shirt! We gotta fucking- Hopefully in that clothes pot bundle that I bought, there would be something good. I'm hoping. If not, well, I, I do have a sewing book that I can read and figure out. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'd like to see like how I get up to the situation next se session. Yeah, how are we going to figure all this out? Out of the frying pan, into the fire. Or maybe just mm. even into just like another frying pan at this point. Three frying pans? Yep, Jeez, three we frying cannot get pans a about to like smack me in the face. Man, our crew cannot get a break. <laughs> I mean, we sort of, like, destined upon ourselves. We just, like, went diving once, exactly once, and <laughs> fucked us over. Yeah. Yeah, I did, didn't it? If only we listened you know, to sometimes Lug. I wonder what would happen if, like, we followed on, like, some of those other, like, plot threads that 
of Elko. Like, I think there's, like, Lug was being, like, pursued by someone. Uh, what would that, how that would have gone? Lug dies session one. <laughs> Lug's the decoy character. I'm sorry, Lug. We wouldn't have Lug lit if that would have happened, though, and I, I don't think I want to live in that world. Man, I can't believe Tiso was in Deep Blues. Oh, wait. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I can't believe Lug's been dead session one. The Who? accident wasn't your fault. It was only his. You this need to is... let go. I'm already let go. <laughs> I no. don't know him. Hey, who is that guy? <laughs> well, if that's everything, I'd like to get up and walk around a little bit. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. a big break bed. and oh, man. like get some oh, yeah. stuff this done. I don't have good. to like sleep for a bit, bit longer because like I don't have to wake up too early tomorrow, but. I can vibe for a while. All right. All um, right. So yeah, signing so... off. Signing off. Yep. Signing off. Thank Thanks you guys. For Thank you, Thank you, you everybody. Folks. Thank you for the session, Josie. Yeah. yeah.